Solutions. Today we're going to walk through installing a RICO printer driver on Windows 7. So first thing we want to do is go and get our drivers. So we're going to open up a web browser. And then we're going to go to rico.com. There we go, rico.com. Once we get here, we're going to go to the downloads page. And then we're going to select Americas. Once this page loads, we want to make sure to uncheck brochure and manuals. And then in the search, we're going to type in whatever model you have. I am currently using a 4502. And then we're going to click search. Down below, you'll get a list of the different options. We want to look for the machine itself and the driver for it. Agree to the terms and conditions. Now on the next page, you're going to get a list of operating systems. We want to make sure to select the right operating system. Um, quick tip if you want to find out, if you don't know, you can go to here, click your Start button, and search. Type in msinfo32 and hit Enter. That will bring up this window here. You'll have your operating system and whether it's a 64-bit or a 32-bit. Now, if it's a 32-bit, it'll actually say x86. Once you have that information, go to this list, find your operating system, and then we're going to download the PCL5C driver. So click the download button here. Download will start here. Once it's done, it'll tell us here. You're going to click on it and run. Once the installer comes up, you're going to click Next. And we're going to browse to a location that we can find fairly easily on our system. So typically, I just go to the desktop, and click OK, and Next. Once it's done, click OK. And then we can go ahead and minimize this. So here's the file we just extracted. Next, we're going to click on our Start button, go to Devices and Printers. and we're going to add a printer. Now we're adding a network printer, so the next few steps may be a little confusing. So first of all, we want to add a local computer, not a network printer. Once here, you're going to change this to create a new port. In the type of port, we're going to change to standard TCP slash IP port. Click Next. Now here you're going to need some information from your copier. Make sure you use the IP address from your copier, not what I type in here. This will be the IP address for my copier. So we type the IP address here. All right, once this screen comes up, we'll click Have Disk. And we're going to browse actually to this folder here that we created earlier. Go here to our desktop, scroll down to our folder, double click it, double click again until you find OEM Setup, select that and open, click OK. Now here you'll have a list of different brands. We're going to go with the Rico, and of course, like I said, we're using a 4502. Once you click Rico, you'll look for your model number here. Select it and then click Next. Now here you can name this printer whatever you want. Typically we just leave them as is. Click Next. And then Windows will go install in the printer. Now once that's done, you're going to click on Do Not Share This Printer unless you're installing this on a server, and click Next. We're going to skip printing a test page for just a moment. Go ahead and click Finish, and here's our installed machine. So now we're going to right-click on it. 
you go to Printer Properties. And this will bring up our Properties window for this particular driver. And what we're going to do is change some defaults. Um, that way, you're not always printing in color and the duplexing option. We want to turn that off if you don't want double-sided prints. So you're going to go to Preferences. First thing we're going to change is our color in black and white. So change this to black and white. That way it's defaulted to black and white. If you do need to print in color, you can select it when you're printing something. We also want to change the duplex to off and then click OK. And then once that's done, go ahead and click your print test page. Make sure it actually prints out of the machine. If it does, you've set everything up correctly and you are good to go.